What's up everybody, my name is Ron Empire, and welcome to my channel. Alright, so, um, good evening, and welcome back. So today I want to give Super Fantasy Kingdom another try. Last time we attempted to do the Curse 2 and didn't get very far. Since there were a lot of new changes that I was not used to, and uh, since then I've actually read over the patch notes uh, that was that covered all the things that changed since we played last at the end of August. It turns out they, um, they changed the tavern mechanics so the upgrade didn't provide additional two additional spaces for free. They added in a thing called originally called morale and then it got renamed to appeal. So we saw that appeal, it says add appeal in the tavern. And we were like, what is this? Plus five appeal? It just didn't make any sense. And so Right after we had streamed uh, yesterday, they added a new patch. So there's a brand new update to Super Fantasy Kingdom demo, build number 69. And they simplified the appeal. And what I understand now is appeal basically allows you to get additional slots on the battlefield. Before, it was five appeal or four appeals or something like that to get one slot. So the tavern only gave us five. We had to like find appeal from some other building, some other building that gave us a, that would give appeal to get an additional three more points to be able to unlock the, the other slot uh, on the battlefield. So the new update yesterday added or simplified the whole appeals mechanics and just said, hey, you know, for every one appeal, you get a new battlefield slot. So that sounds a lot better. Uh, and then they changed it so the tavern can be upgraded twice. Because I remember like when we played in August, or at the end of August, it was the tavern basically got us more space on the battlefield by upgrading twice. But now the tavern can be upgraded a second time. But again, I think two tavern upgrades will only get us the two slots that it would have normally given us originally, the two slots with just one upgrade. But anyways, we'll have to figure out how to get more slots on the battlefield later. Uh, there was something like the decorations, right? The tiny little home slots. Uh, I think those can give us appeal as well. So we'll look into that. So yeah, I definitely learned a lot. Um, I read over a couple of people's strategies or suggestions in the Discord uh, that talked about uh, you know the hunter lodge and getting more, um, getting meat early. So I think I might want to do that. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. And the other thing, too, that I read was that when you get new units on your side of the battlefield, their experience points is based on the appeal that you have. So let's say yesterday, or sorry, the day before, like Friday, had we played it before the update, uh, what we should have done was not take on the fighter early uh, because... If we got the appeal four, and then we got the fighter, oh, and the fighter got renamed to the swordsman too, by the way. So, but uh, I'm still gonna call him the fighter. So, if we got the fighter or the swordsman, um, after we had done the battlefield upgrade, he would have been automatically assigned with uh, four exp points or something like that. So, I think that again, might be better to stall or delay getting new units. I, I don't know yet. We'll have to figure it out. But let's go ahead and jump in. And hopefully we can... Um, I'm going to save my money for the rerolls. We're, we're not that far off. Alright, so we're going to do Curse 2. And... Uh, the gods. And there's a couple of things that was added into the game that was associated to... Um, what was it? I'm trying to think here. It was associated to monsters evolving. So if you kill evolved monsters, you get more glory. So we'll have to mess around with that or try to figure out how, how do I get that to work to get more glory. Alright, so I'm still going to be okay with the choices that we have the wheat so we can get the early monk so we can get the uh, early quest with the church 
I think that should be fine. And this is the chapel, right? Oh, this is the church, right? Yeah, the church. And oops. And this is the chapel. Repair the church. How come there's two churches? There's one church here, and there's one church over here. Alright, well, whatever. Um, now, I think I learned there's like a hot key that I can hold, right? Like I hold an alt key to get monsters health bars as well. Alright, I'm going to click on this guy to see if it's still bugged. Because last time we clicked on him, the text was bugged. Alright, so it doesn't look like it's bugged anymore. It's fixed. Yep, alright, it's fixed. Because last time we clicked on that and there was like a dialogue that was all insert, insert, translations, or whatever. Well, that's fixed. Alright, awesome. Alright, so who's attacking us? It's gonna be Death Priest, right? I'm gonna go ahead and buy the monk. Drop the monk in here. The guy in the foreground. Alright, oh, shoot. I should not have let the time... Lapse. That was my mistake. Oh my god, I just... <laughs> I should not have let the, the time lapse. Because that meant we missed out a few seconds here. Alright, so I'm going to probably put the quarry down here. I'm going to probably put the tavern or the woodcutter here, right? Uh, I'll put the tavern here then. Yeah, I'll put the tavern there. I'm going to put the woodcutter here. And, uh... I'm going to put the housing... here. Hey, NP Dave. Welcome back. Thanks for hanging out. Alright, so what else do I need to do? I'm going to go ahead and ex repair this. Get the extra spacing. And we can get the workers. I'm going to roll my mouse wheel up here. We have how many workers? Four, right? Against the Storm is looking a bit flat. It is looking flat. I actually have had discussions with it, uh, the programmer. Well, I already vented my sort of dissatisfaction and disappointment with the warehouse change. I mean, they haven't really added anything new in this past up update other than moving the hauler station into the warehouse and... It may or may not be that great. I mean, they added a feature to limit the, the resources, but that's that's very situational. So all the things that they've added in this last patch was kind of like, eh, you know, it's minor, minor things. I'm a little slightly more frustrated, too, that they they added new cornerstones for the warehouse. Um, I mean, I, like I said, it was just, it, it bloats the cornerstone reroll. But I, I, I mean, all it does is adds more challenge to the game. I'm fine with it, whatever. Not a big deal. At least I removed the hauler station for the warehouse, but I'm more annoyed by the warehouse view. And so I did actually talk to the programmer last night, and he said that, yeah, they're trying to figure out how to switch the views from the list view and the regular icon view. They got the input. Like, people <laughs> people gave their feedback. They're going to do something about it. It's just that they have, they're trying to figure out how to switch the views or put in a way to let you switch views. So yeah, it's and yeah, they they also notice that there's a fatigue in the player base right now. Um but hey, you know, I I'm not gonna if I have to play it, you know, for my viewership, I will, but right now I'm gonna wait until they get that gets fixed because I don't wanna have to be playing something I'm already used to playing and they're taking away a functionality of the game that makes it really annoying for me to play. I don't have to play it. I'm not you know, before it's like, hey, I'm excited to play like every day, but now I'm not excited. So I, I only like to play things that makes me excited, you know. Um, but they are they are looking to try to release the game in December. So I'm excited about that. And uh, the secrets revealed, I actually posted this on my Discord. There's going to be two uh, meta mechanics, two major meta mechanics that's added, that's going to be added before the release. Uh, and then anything in between right now, Till that happens, it's going to be minor updates. So they had like a laundry list of things that they want to add. Um, so I, I already, you know, gave my input. First thing they got to do is fix that warehouse view. Um, all right, let's see here. 
I think he starts off at zero or something EXP, right? So if I upgrade, you know, the upgrade the tavern, right, gets one appeal. For every one appeal, and they've lowered the cost too, which is great. So every one appeal gets us a new, a new uh, battlefield slot. And then it's going to cost us five, and then the next one's going to cost us ten. So we can actually technically get two battlefield slots if we upgrade this twice. Let me see here. Is there any upgrades here? All right, so we add a decoration that gets us another battlefield slot. Which I'm going to be okay with that, because I don't use enough of the little slots anyways. All right, so I've definitely learned something new here. So yeah, I gave my input is, you know, warehouse view needs to be changed. Um, second input, I'd like to get some sort of, I, 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 I gave the list in my, uh, you know, what I think is easy for them to change. Adding in a feature to rename the villagers shouldn't be too hard. That's an easy change. So I, that's on my list. And then the, the other things on my list that I think that they should add in before the release that, that would get me excited to play the game more is a way to, to do the, um, the uh, seal force planning, right? Just the world planning. I'd like to put markers on the map so I don't forget where I was going to go. Or, or where I had planned to go. List of demands. <laughs> yeah, my list of demands. <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> my list of demands. Hang on. Four in storage, right? Five is the maximum capacity. Um, and then uh, you know, there's just you know, it's my demand's not that crazy. The only thing that's that's major out of my list of demands would probably be please don't overwork the devs. No, the, they they had already planned the they already talked about that. They said we have plans for adding in a a planner mode for the seal force. So I'm holding them to that. They said they have a planner mode planned uh so that's what they promised i'd like to see that they they said they're trying to add in things that they promised before the release and they did promise some sort of rewards mechanics actually or rewards for the seal force they talked about like either some unlock some cosmetic reward for the seal force i i personally think that they should add some sort of instead of just a one-time permanent reward or uh, unlock you know uh, achievement reward, cosmetic achievement reward. I think they should put in a, like a temporary reward, like a boss loot drop that benefits. And I've, I've mentioned this idea many times before. It's kind of like when you grind bosses for Diablo or any bosses, right? Or World of Warcraft, you do raid bosses. You, you grind the bosses for the loot, right? The loot chase, the loot drops. And they could be random. I like some sort of loot for my sealed force that could help me for the next cycle's run, right? I, I There's a long list of ideas that I have that they can go with, like, a bunch of ways, you know, either a temporary buff or some items or some blueprint that is a permanent unlock for the rest of your run. Um, oh, Hang on, let me buy this guy. Because <laughs> I want to make sure that I have two upgrades. Um by the end of this night. Hang on, what level is he? I think he's a level 0 EXP, right? Okay. Alright, so they made it so that when you... I think when you spawn the unit... Hang on, let me read the patch notes here for this. Because it said something like, Each appeal unlocks one slot and gives 2 XP to new units. So I guess if I unlock two appeals, the new units after will get four EXP. So if I had, okay, so had I gotten this guy after I upgrade this, so it's actually better to upgrade to buy this guy after, right? Because he'll start off with two appeals. Otherwise, I'm consuming food. Because each berries give one EXP. 
So if I manage to get this chamber up as quickly as possible, I might get an increase in the EXP for this fighter or swordsman. But yeah, um, planner mode, right? And then the other one was just some sort of loot drop that would make each run exciting for me. Like, it's unique, right? Seal Force, boom. I do the Seal Force. I get some sort of something, something, right? For the following cycle. And my idea was, because, you know, one of the things they wanted to do was nerf the end, the end cycle button where they just didn't like it when people kept repeatedly hitting the end button and regenerating new maps. Well, if they introduce the temporary loot drop idea where or buff or whatever it is that benefits the next cycle, that automatically takes care of the, the people abusing the end cycle button, right? Because then you, if you hit end cycle, you forfeit all the loot that you got from the previous boss run or the previous seal run. So that should take care of like people abusing the end button over and over. So if you want to keep your buffs, you can hit the end, you know, you don't hit the end cycle button. You just take whatever map that's generated and keep playing so that's just my idea is at least it makes each run interesting so so if you don't beat the seal the following year you lose all your your buffs obviously or you hit the end cycle button you lose your buffs you have to beat the seal again to get the next the next uh, buff or items or whatever loot drop now i i read somewhere about the cook um it says may improve meals to give one more experience, and I think it's like any okay. Here we go. Uneaten meat gets upgraded to the next quality level, so that's where you want to upgrade or or get the hunter um, as soon as possible. So that way you can generate upgraded food automatically. And then you want to get the fish automatically because I read somewhere that the fish will be get, will be eaten before raw food. So that means that raw food will then be upgraded for free. So that is another thing is we want to rush to get the hunter or sorry, the fish and the hunter as soon as possible. So that, that's another thing I, I picked up here. Okay, and then a free unit, right? Alright, I'm gonna take the halfling. So what this X or checkbox means is he's upgraded. I'm pretty sure it means it's been upgraded. So if he does these guys don't have a checkbox, it means they don't have an upgrade to him. And this this X means banish. So remember at the beginning of the game when I had the choices of spending all my gold? And banished means just basically you you can choose to banish units so they don't re come back as a reroll. But I like the halfling; he's a good choice. We'll take it. Um, because he will add damage to the battlefield. So that way the monk will have more damage, and then he we can get that faster. And then we have five units, right? And there's four there. Actually, I'll, I'll do that. Hang on. I'm going to need to gather meat. Or, sorry, uh, berries. Since we now have three units. Ooh, what is this? He just found something. I found this. Cool. Some boy. Ooh, range, right? I think that's range. Yes, 10% range. That isn't very nice. So what I need to do is upgrade the quarry. Get a guy in there. I'm going to upgrade... I'm going to upgrade the saw, uh, sawmill, right? Yeah, sawmill. So I can get that going. So I'm going to hold off on, on picking this. I used to take the wood, but... 
I think I might save that for this or this. Because the wheat allows me to get another appeal. Which opens up a battlefield really quickly. Right? It's either the wheat or more meat. I might go with the wheat, actually. So that way I unlock the appeal. And the appeal basically allows me to add workers with EXPs. Or sorry, add um, spawn units with EXPs. Hopefully I can add the uh, upgrade the warehouse up upgrade the tavern as soon as possible, right? So I get the the warrior soon. Because if I get the warrior, he starts off with zero. Or so the swordsman, right? He starts off with zero. He eats he eats food for one point. That doesn't do anything, right? But I get an appeal, then I get him later. So that's not a rush. Uh. Here, three. I can't get that right away, right? I don't know. Maybe I can. I don't know. Probably not. Mm -mm. Okay, no, that's fine. It's fine. Normally, I try to rush getting the fighter or the swordsman. Um, day two, so that he can he can get upgraded at least by one point. But if I get the appeal, it won't matter, right? Right, yeah. If I get the appeal, then he'll get two exp experience points to start with. The third turn. So yeah, it'll be the same. Yeah, it'll, it should be the same. Uh, and then my other goal is to get the hunter as soon as possible, right? Alright, hang on. Hunter is nine. Oh my god. Nine. Nine stones. Oh, we have five guys, right? Not the sandwich shop. And then we want the guy to walk faster, right? Yeah, we want him to walk faster. Wait a minute, I haven't gotten any faith yet. Where's my king? Where's my king? Right, hang on, there's a, I think there's a button that, that shows me all the workers, right? No. I just wonder there's like a button that shows me all the workers. 
Yeah, there was like a button that shows me all the workers. But I don't... It's like it shows everyone's worker slot and I forgot what it was. Huh, I can't remember. I could have sworn there was like a button that 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 gives everybody Okay, it's alt, right? It's just alt. And then okay, I'm hitting the, the QWE, right? Alt key. Yeah, so it's alt key basically. Huh. They disabled it now. It's, I have to change it with alt key? I could have it used to be on all the time. How do I get it to be on all the time? Huh. There was like a button that, like, when I was playing it the other day, it was on all the time. And now it's like, I have to hit a button. Game pause, game toggle, game worker menu, alt. It's gotta be alt. I have to hold it as an input. I don't want to hold it. I just want to... I want to have it on all the time. And I remember having it on all the time last time. So they must have changed it, where it's the alt key is now a toggle. Hmm. I'll have to ask the... the Discord channel to see if there's a way to keep this. I don't want to have to, like... Have my other finger always on this key here. Now where's the? I wish there was a button that says, "Hey, keep keep this on all the time." Huh. Interesting. Yep. Hmm. So last time I played, this was on all the time, and you can actually see the health all the time. Now it's like I have to hold the hot key. So this got changed in yesterday's update for some reason. Somebody just wanted an alt, a to a hold key instead of a a toggle key. I would have preferred a toggle key. I'm looking at here. Is there anything that, that got changed? Hmm. No. Weird. Yeah. Maybe that. Oh shit. Maybe the. Nope. That doesn't do it either. I'm trying to figure out how to keep this on all the time, guys. Nope, that doesn't do it either. What the hell is unlock? No. Yeah, huh. Tutorials, no. Full screen, no. Input, right? Let's see here. Alt is worker menu. X is monk. Warp to camera. Normal speed. Change speed. Pause. Is three face bars F to reset hide UI skip no pause toggle and you see pause is a toggle skip is also pause I'm trying to find a key drink what is drink ab no right normal game speed Items is J. Roadmap. What is items? Oh, I don't, okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, interesting. Weird. Yep. Yeah. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, right? Only have five workers. And so I got what? One, two, three, four. Hmm. 
Maybe I can get a hauler. Let me get more wood. Forester's upgrade five? That's upgrade five. I need to get the... I can't get the appeals before midnight. Oh no, I was trying to get this. Jesus Christ. They're not hauling that, huh? That means I have to get this guy now if I want the upgrades. Well, it's kind of late, though, because if I get them now, it's not going to be appealed. Right? Yeah. Hey, thank you for that follow there. Chrono Metrics. Appreciate that. I don't know if it starts off at 2 or it adds 2. I'm going to go... I think it... I think it's adds 2, right? Gives 2 XPs to New Year. You know what? I'm going to take it now. That's fine. Whatever. Hey, what's going on, Chrono? Just lurking, don't mind me? Yeah, no, thank you for, for hanging out. Do you play this game, or... Or, um, you're just popping by because you... You've seen my VODs on YouTube. I don't know what, what the thing is, why they took away the toggle. Or maybe I should have gotten the swordsman earlier. Four, right? You're four. Hmm. And it doesn't give health bars to the, the enemies either. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take this. I'm going to put in a decoration here. Neither. You were recommended by the Twitch Algo, and I check out unique indie game games compulsively. Oh, thank you then. Twitch Algos, right? Awesome. I need to get the the sixteen. All hail the mighty Alagos. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, he got the two points from the the decoration that we added. Very interesting, actually. All right, so that means we should have space on the battlefield, right? Yes, we do have space on the battlefield. Yeah. Keeper of links. A cutter. Clutters of sidebars. Nice. Now, if only the al algo I'm coding all right now is working. Hmm. All right. So how am I going to get the hunter? We need nine. Go ahead and get the king to move faster. All right, what is this? Okay, appeals level, right? New units get two EXPs. Nice, okay. Well, they used to have the faith on this side of the screen. I think they now moved it to the right corner. I believe the, cor the coins used to show up on this side, too. Now the coins are over here. Very interesting. What's different about this from Hero Hour? I can't remember... I don't think I played Hero Hour. I've seen Hero Hour, but I don't think... I might have played the demo. I can't remember. I might have played the demo, but never recorded it. It looks very different mechanic-wise. Yeah, it's, it's different, because Hero... I believe Hero Hour, you go around with your king, 
around the world and then you buy stuff around the world and then you set up camps at different locations and then those camps transfer that's more of like a this is more of a specific kingdom builder area here you only build this section yeah you, you unlock things in the world but these things you don't manage these things outside you don't manage Yeah, uh, turn-based, right. Uh, Heroes Hour is like Might and Magics with an auto bat battler. Right, right. It kind of also reminds me of some other game that I used to play when I was younger. Warlords. Hero Hour is kind of like Warlords. This looks like halfway to an RTS. Yeah, really... I really wish they would add the um, the toggle thing for me back. Be really nice. Yeah, because the alt key doesn't show the health bars of the mobs either. I thought I misread that in the patch notes, and I thought, oh, hey, I can hit alt key to get the the health bars, but I don't. Must have done something to get that on all the time. Alright, that needs six more, right? Six more to complete the quest, and then I get the upgrade. And I also get faith. New units. Oh, not existing units. But I think that worked on the same turn. Or did I buy the thing first before getting the, the swordsman? I can't remember. I have to pay attention to that detail next time. Eight? Oh, I can't get the Hunter, huh? It's nine. I have to upgrade. Oh, no. I think you can only catch one fish a day or something. Go out once, a fish swarm appears. The lighthouse allows usage. Uh, allows voyage per ship to explore the world. Got it. For some reason, I... Okay, well, there are fishes out here, so I don't... I get the feeling it's only, like, once a day, though. Alright, so it's five more. And they're going back home, aren't they? I need to get to 16 to unlock another worker. Two more. Come on, monk. Do your part. Nope. How many more? Two more still? Come on, monk. Two more. Did he make it? No. Jesus. Trying to get the monk to, to do the killing blow. Alright, well, whatever. Nice. Oh, well. Yeah, let me re-roll this. I want the... 
two, right? Damn it. I can't re-roll anymore, can I? There you go. Perfect. I got the two. Nice. I got the two. Next time somebody shows up, I'll get, I'll get more. Um... I'm pondering over whether I should attack this guy now or later. I'll probably wait one more turn. And then this guy. We got 20, right? That costs 90. What was the other one? 50. Alright, so what I want now is the Hunter's Hall. So we can start getting meat. Yeah, we want to start getting meat here. Come on. Are we there yet? Two more, come on! Be a bad idea. Are we there yet? Two more still. Alright, hang on. Hmm. I need to upgrade eventually, right? The the castle to get the stats boost. So the next thing I want is the gold mine. Probably, well, might need to upgrade the Forester. Yeah, I might need the Forester. Because our trees are running out. We only have that one tree there and then that one tree there, right? Oh no. Oh shit, that- oh boy. That halfling. Oh no! Oh, my warrior. Damn it! Or my swordsman. Very, very bad. Very, very bad. I don't get experience points. And he's going to eat the fish, too. Damn it. Well, at least, at least they didn't deliver the... Nice boy. Hang on, minimize. I think I should upgrade this first before getting a new unit, right? Um, I guess I'll take the mage.
that way. The reason I did that first was so that the mage gets his experience points right away. So the mage starts off with more experience than the swordsman. Jesus. Okay, so next time I know, I'll do that. This is your six, right? Let's go ahead and provoke this guy. And then... There's two meats in there. We're at 38, right? 38. All right, hopefully I can do this. I don't know. I usually upgrade this first before I attack the, the mini boss. Might be a mistake. But it is the snowy weather, so we should be able to take it out. Plus, I actually got an extra unit here. He's a lot slower. There you go. Okay, so he did die. Alright, so there we go. Now, holy water. Now we got 72 faith, right? 72 faith. That requires 9. Oh, 50. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, let's go with that. Tax uh, hit in a small area. 25% for units with full armor. All units attack faster if they have armor. I don't know how much faster. I mean, what is 2x, right? Twice the amount for all units. Yeah, let's go with that. Faster. So any unit with armor will attack faster. So faster should technically mean double, right? Double. I'm a little worried here. I'm pondering whether I should just upgrade my... Huh. My dude here. I think I should. Let me go ahead and upgrade him now. He, he does double attacks. Oh no. Why do I get the feeling the mage is gonna die? Oh no. Oh, the mage is still alive. Surprisingly. All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. All right, is he going to give me some cooked meat here? Why did he eat it raw? Why did he eat it raw? That kind of stinks. I thought the cook is supposed to cook something. Okay, that didn't happen. Alright, so I need more stones. Definitely need more stones. Alright, we're getting... Wheat coming in here soon. Oh, this is the Goblin King, right? Yeah, Goblin King.
Should be easy peasy. Nice. 30% for mages with shields. Hitting wet target with shock or with uh, lightning applies shock to surrounding targets. Oh. Hmm. 30% more damage for mages with shields, which is our mage does have a shield now. Or hitting wet target, which the monks apply wet. And then if the mages shock wet target, it should work. Hmm. But this requires both of them attack the same target, or when it rains, right? I'm gonna go with this one. I don't know what the shock does. I'm playing. I'm guessing it's just they get st stuck where they're at. Okay, I need 10 to level up. Wow, appeals is now 8. Jesus Christ. 10 for that one. Jesus Christ. I don't need the extra battle slot now. I think we got all we need. Actually, we don't need the extra battle slots. Yeah, we probably don't need it. We do want to get, what, a, um, a smelter, right? Smelter and a catapult and a place for wheat. Because wheat gets me upgrades for this guy. Sorry, no, um... An ore, right? We need an ore gatherer, catapult. Well, let's go get the gold mine first. Oh, hang on. Do I want a gold mine first? No, I could probably hold out on the gold mine. I think I want to upgrade the castle first. Yeah. Yeah, the cook didn't do anything. How do I get the cook to do something? The cook's supposed to give us some food. I don't know how or why we're not getting extra food. According to this, a tavern barsman is supposed to be a cook. I mean, the I don't know how to get the cook. Let me see here. What was the... In the patch notes, it says the bar person that works in the tavern can cook the meat. Cook stars are hidden by default, but fade when he eats EXPs. Um, how do I get the cook? This game didn't really explain how to get the cook, huh? Cook can only give one additional EXP to any meals. Cooked stars are hidden. Okay, sure. Um, the barkeeper is now a cook. Cook can get up to three stars. Hey, I'm back. Is this an early access game? No, it's a demo. It's a free demo. Anyone can play it. It's not just me. So you definitely should go there and check it out. How do I get the cook? That's the question. Yeah, I just don't know how to get the cook. The cook is the barmaid, or the barmaid is now the cook, but what, how do you get the cook to work? 
Not right click. Not star. Is there some magic something I'm supposed to unlock around here? I don't know. I'm looking around for some unlock. Is there an unlock? 300, 600, right? I don't have. Yeah. I'm rolling my mouse over because there's usually stuff on the map that that you upgrade. I've already upgraded these. Yeah, I've already upgraded these. Yeah, I don't know. Let's find out what's going on with the cook. Okay, the gatherer is not the cook. Is there another person here? The demolisher is not the cook. I don't know how you get a cook, guys. Is that the same as the... The bakery? No, the bakery is a baker, right? Brewery is a brewery. Smelter. I don't think that's a cook. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know how to get stuff cooked. Upgrade the tavern gives you two more slots for units. It can be upgraded up to six times, but always gets more expensive. Up upgrading the tavern gives you two more slots for units. That's not true. It says it can be upgraded. Uh, it, it can be upgraded up to six times. That's false. Maybe it should say upgrade to two times. Currently, you can upgrade it two times. I think this context needs to be properly reworded because that is false. It can only be upgraded twice. Yeah, I just don't know how do you get the cook. But what's this do? Nothing, right? It's just decorations. Another decorations is eight, though. And water is only for the bakery. Hang on, what else can I upgrade here? These are expensive. Holy smokes. Uh, boost building seed visits for 1.5 seconds. Movement speed of the king. Yeah, I can't do any of this. Nine. Okay. I'm trying to figure out, is there anything I'm missing on the board here? A thousand coins, which I don't have. Five thousand I don't have. So, okay, my next goal is to try to get 675. If I can. Okay. I need to get that made. I need to get the stones delivered as quickly as possible here. So I can upgrade the wall. Here we go. 
So boost all unit stats, right? Boom. So down here, down below, when you're looking at this, these numbers should increase. We got 11, 9, 29, 14, 6, right? There you go. It definitely went up. All right, so my next goal here is to get the wood. Oh, damn it. All right, next turn, next turn. Damn it. I should probably get another worker and then upgrade the... Uh, The archer. No, 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 no. No, what? Bullshit. It was taunted. He was taunted. The guy was taunting. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. I got mage down. He's going to waste one of my... Fishes or meat. Well, that's fine. Whatever. Yeah. How do I get this guy to upgrade the meat? Maybe he. Maybe this chick did upgrade it. I don't know. I don't see meat upgrades. Okay, I could probably want to upgrade the mage, huh? Yeah, let's do that. It's fine. That way in the future I'll get an upgrade. Okay. Now I need another 16 for the damage upgrade. Yep, need another 16 for the damage upgrade. And then I need the gold mine, right? I need a gold mine. All right. I need 16 to upgrade the the woodcutter. Or sorry, the um the bowman. Yep, 16 to upgrade the bowman. I don't think I can get the 16 in time before the night's over. Doesn't look like it. Nope, maybe. I don't know. Nope, probably not. Nope, three. No, probably not. Gonna be another intense night. All right, hang on. This one is going to require five of those, right? Five of those. Oh, we made it. Oh, we made it. All right, we made it. We might have a chance to beat this curse. Yeah, I don't know how you get the cook to cook stuff. What's going on? Do I have to unlock the cook or something? 
Maybe I have to unlock the cook. No. Alright, so I got some ore. Three. Okay, what else? What else? Five, six, two more days, and I upgrade the mage. Or, sorry, the monk. Alright, so now the crossbowman is upgraded. And then siege camp, right? Siege camp. I'm pondering over whether I should get a farm. Uh, because the farm could help me get more wheat to upgrade the mate or the monk. Or I just take my stones and upgrade the swordsman. I don't know. Mm. Maybe I'll upgrade the swordsman because he's closer. Yeah, he might be closer. Okay, who's not working? Two people are idle. Not working. It says I have one idle worker. Four's working, and I got one. I get one guy's idle. There. Okay. I just need the stones to be del oh okay. For some reason, the guy's not getting me stones. How is it that I'm not getting stones? Oh okay. I all right. So my bottle right now is gonna be the stones. I need a geologist. Need a geologist. I can't spend the soul though. To get more stone nodes. If I want to increase my stone production. Right now I can only get one at a time from the mines. This fills up. I get the stone. I can't get stones any faster at this point. Siege engine is five of those, right? Shit, I can't get any stones this year. Oh shit. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh shit, I knew it. Shit. Two down. Two not getting experience points. Yeah, two guys not getting experience points. Swordsman is missing one. How do I upgrade the meat? I don't know how that works. Yeah, I don't know how that works.
Mm -mm -mm. Two more days. Three more days, right? Three more days. All right, so I'm going to get a siege shop. Okay, I need more wood. Wait, well, this one needs walls, and that does not need walls, right? That can attack from the bench. But I have a wall, so it shouldn't be a problem. All right, let me go ahead and upgrade this guy. Okay. Get nervous. Need one more of that one, right? All right, this guy's kind of maxed out as much as I can. I don't think I can get 16. Or the end of the run. Eight, maybe, yes. What I really need is Siege Shop, right? Five of those, and then I need two of these. Oh boy, you're all no, the mage is not gonna make it. Oh, the mage is not gonna make it. I don't think the mage is gonna make it. Oh no, I don't think the warrior's gonna make it. Mmm, the warrior's probably gonna go down. Shit. It's always the warrior and the mage. Fighting the bullet there. Um, okay. Oh, wait, what's this? Provoke monster to attack tonight. I don't think that's a good idea. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Hang on, can I... Yeah, all right, so I got a ballista. Hey, thank you for that follow there. Losto Angel, if steam discussions are true, raw meat becomes cooked if it was not eaten, and you have a chef. Well, how do you get the chef? The chef is always, it looks like the chef is always there. Is there a way to get the chef? Thank you for that first time chat, by the way. So, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to get the chef. Or I guess I didn't stockpile enough meat. Okay, so your thing is the not, it's probably the not eaten part. Alright, it doesn't look like it's going to happen then. <laughs> Unless I get tons of fishes, because they eat fish first, right? Or the other option is if I get tons of bread, they'll eat the bread first. Alright, so now we can upgrade this guy. 
Maybe we can get another Ballista here. Oh, the Ballista is slightly useless. Slightly useless. Because it's only shooting one direction. But it's better than nothing, right? I think that's the fastest thing I can come up with for this cycle. Is that guy healing the catapult? <laughs> what is that? I didn't realize a catapult needs healing. Okay. Gold, right? You got five to three. Okay, yeah, one more piece of gold. You got two there. Sunset. Shit! I can't get another one out in time. No one's delivering. Alright, well... Theory for the next run, though. Yeah, don't know. Not eaten. But yeah, theory, theory. We'll see. See how that goes. I think next time I'd probably have to make bread. Because bread gets eaten first. And meat gets eaten. Or fish gets eaten first. So if I can somehow pump out the bread fast enough, then the meat then will get cooked. Oh, oh! I got that. Oh, sheesh! I thought my my mage was gonna die. Yeah, see, I've got a cook here, but I guess he only cooks it if uneaten meat gets upgraded to the next level. So, so it says the cook may improve the meals to give one experience more. Why would it say that? The cook may improve the meal to give one more experience points. Does this guy only get one meat a day? I think it's only one meat a day. I think it's only one meat a day. Yeah, maybe he can cook meals sometimes before instead of three or something like that. Yeah, I... I don't know. I don't know. I'm at three, right? I need 675. That's not going to happen. The next wave is a boss fight. I have to beat this wave to get to the next wave. Yeah, I have to beat this wave to get the next wave. I think I'm just going to have to do this one then. There's nothing else I can do. Let me take this guy off. There's no reason to have him on there. There's nothing else I can do before the night's over. Yes. Yeah, 
that. Oh no, they're not delivering. Oh, come on. I just needed one more piece of stone or ore, whatever the hell. I only need one piece of ore. Shit. Just need one more ore. Oh, I really screwed that up, didn't I? Oh, maybe. Here, we'll upgrade level two. Get a powerful relic. Attack even faster. Stuns target. 2x and poison immunity for, for units with shields. 2x. What is 2x? 3x for all units. 3x shields for all units. All right, well, let's go with even faster. What do we want to stun target? Hang on. Double, triple armor. This is triple armor, this is double armor, but it also gives poison immunity. The hero ta attacks even faster, right? Let's go attack even faster. Oh god, the mage is going down. Oh no, the mage is down. Shit. We're not gonna survive this, are we? Oh, we're not gonna survive this. Oh man. I think had we survived this, we would have beaten the, the last one after. Ha. Yeah. Defeat. That's fine. We get an extra reroll. Yep. Alright, so we got an extra reroll. We got one banish, too. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. How could I have been so weak? Yeah, you're a weakling. We did make a mistake last turn, though, where we we didn't pause early. All right, where do I want to put the tavern? Thing in here, or the court, uh, the stone pit here for sure. I think the trees is right there is the best spot. Put the tavern here, I guess. That's fine. Hmm. Do I want... To get the quarry going right away. If I get the quarry going right away, I can start getting my stones going. Right, or I get, or I wait for the hay, hay? Huh, I'll probably wait for the hay, right? Like in here. Yeah, let's go ahead with the quarry early. Fine. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da -da. Gotta get to eight, right? Come on. All right, eight. 
eight. Boom. Upgrade. Boom. Um, ba bum bum bum. Yeah, add upgrade this. All right, how much more? Ugh. It's gonna take a while on that one. All right, the monk got it. I want the dead people. I don't ever want the lizard again. Band. Nice. I like the band option. That's very cool, huh? Alright, so I need to get... My planks ASAP. And get the warrior... The Oh, hang on. Please hurry. Alright, huh. Sawmill, right? We want the sawmill. Please hurry. Now we're gonna get this guy. Now we need four units. Okay, yeah, so he's starting to get his EXP. That might have been a mistake, I don't know. He's level 3, right? Yeah, see, appeals give 2 points of experience points. So I think I probably should have waited, I think, on the Swordsman. Because he'll still get his 2 points of experience anyways. Yeah, I think in the future what I need to do is get this guy day 3. Or even four, right? Day four. Yeah, day four. And keep the stones. For an upgrade. Because he's draining basically two food items anyways to upgrade. So I'm actually net negative on the food if I take him day two, right? Yeah, it's net negative day two. All right, so I need to get the hunter's thingy next. Or no, the planky thingy next, right? Okay. Alright, so hunt. Okay, so f the fighter do not get too early. Because leveling him up is just draining two units of food. And then what I need to do is... How's my glory? Do I have glory? No, I don't have glory. One more day. One more day for glory. Okay, so the catching the fish early helps. Are 
we almost there yet? No. Oh no. Alright, we got it, alright, we got it. Ish. Okay, so day four. Uh, sorry, we want day four, right? Day two and three. Day four is when we should be getting the the fighter next time. Yeah, alright. And then they probably upgrade the walls. <clears throat> All right, upgrade the walls. You know what well, the funny thing is, the chick <laughs> that's going to the tavern to be a gatherer. You know, if you're going to go to the tavern anyways, why didn't you pick up the fish, right? <laughs> like you just you just went fishing, you dropped it off. You said, like, "Okay, I'm going to go to the tavern." Well, if you're going to go to the tavern, at least pick up the fish and take it with you, right? You saw that, right? She just switched profession to be the gatherer. My goodness, what a lazy bunch of workers. Alright, so glory. So, so day four is when we get the decoration. Alright, so this is where we should have gotten the swordsman. Because then he gets a plus two experience points. Right? I think he might have eaten the fish, though, last turn. That's how he actually got that extra level one. But that fish could have gone to anybody else. Or that extra one point. All right. We need to get the hunter as soon as possible, right? Or no, nine. Nine is the hunter. And what I say? I, I said we're going to do the bread, I think. Oh, but we can't do bread. Because bread, flour, and bakery, that means we won't be able to... to get the stones. Or sorry, ore, right? We wouldn't be able to get the ore. Oh, man. Now, see, we are at a catch-22 problem. There's not enough space. There's not enough space to do bakery if we do the hunter. The hunter can't go in there if we have a bakery. We have to give up something else. And there's nothing else we can give up. So the problem here is hunter will not work with bakery. Because bakery requires farm. Yeah. Oh, shit. I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, shit. I can't move this guy. I totally did this wrong.
Oh, I botched this run really bad. I'm pretty sure I botched this run. Oh, no. I totally botched the run, guys. Yep, I totally botched it. Waste of food. Or waste of EXPs, right? Waste of EXPs. Yep, yeah, total waste of EXPs. Reroll. 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 There we go. Two points. Yeah, see, I need the the gold mine to be able to upgrade this, because I will run out of stones. I can't do everything I want. Yep, I really botched it. And what I should have done was upgrade this before getting... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I, I could still upgrade this, actually. Add the appeal, right? Alright, so that means next turn when I get whatever unit that's offered for two, two bars, he'll start off with four EXPs. All right, so each camp requires five. Twenty-five. I haven't upgraded the the church yet. I need to probably upgrade the church. Oh, yeah, you know what? I'll upgrade the church. It's fine. So we can collect the faith faster. Why is he going there? He's getting taunted. What? Yeah. The guy's taunting him, but why is he running into that? Bizarre. Alright, come on, monk. Heal, heal. Oh no! I don't think the death mage is gonna make it. Well, he's not gonna make it, is he? Oh! Damn it. Swordsman's down. Damn it. Oh. Not looking good. Oh, I botched it. It's okay. It's okay. I'm thinking here. Yeah, I think at the end of the day, the meat's still the best choice because the bread is two points and it takes up like three slots to make bread. I don't think it's worth making bread. Yeah, I don't think it's worth making bread. 
right, let's go ahead and do that again. All right, so don't get the swordsman the second day. Okay, don't get the swordsman the second day. Um, yeah, let's put the tavern here. I'm okay with that. Um, the woodcutter right here is fine. I'm thinking here. Yeah, let's upgrade this. Worker, right? Automatically worker slot. Okay, what else? What else? Alright, so quarry. Oh no! Oh, I put the quarry in the wrong spot. Supposed to go over here. Oh no! Shit! Shit. Steak. The mine was supposed to go down here. Corey over here. Very, very big mistake. I totally botched that one again, guys. Big, big mistake there. Total, total mistake. Hey, friends, thank you for that follow. Appreciate that. Just, just give me wood. <laughs> I'm trying to get the crossbowman early. Totally, totally botched the, the stone thing. Sheesh. Now he's got to walk all the way here for this, this, and this, and this. Ugh. Wish there was a way to relocate this. Yep, total botch. Okay, what do I want? Wait, don't we have a... Oh, we didn't get the priest yet, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I think I want the half lane because he gives plus one damage to everybody. That guy's better. Yeah, that guy's better. I need to get people in here, right? I need food to upgrade. Um, I think I need to get the, yeah, it's too late for the other guy, right? So. Or 
what else? One more worker, right? Can I get one more worker? No, that requires 16, though. Hmm. So we don't get the fighter this time. Yeah, we don't get the fighter this time. We want to get the fighter on day four. Or the swordsman on day four. Swordsman on day four. So that way he doesn't consume the food, and then he gets his experience points right away. He's level 1, right? He got 1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's level 1. Okay, okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Anything here to collect? No, right? Nothing there. Um, I'm thinking here. Do I want the church right away? No, I think I want the fish right away, right? Right, I want the fish right away, and I want to upgrade this right away. So that way, the wood cutting is a little bit faster. Yep. All right. So wood cutting is faster. We get some fish. Why is there like nobody around? Come on. Uh oh. Oh, we got everybody. Nice. All right, six more on that one. Okay, so this is the day that we want to get the stone. Or the fighter, right? The swordsman, whatever. Okay, we get the swordsman on this day. How's our glory? Okay, so we'll go ahead with this. We'll spend this. Upgrade this. We will upgrade this. And we get... And then we get the swordsman, so he'll have four points of experience. That saved us like a bunch of food having to upgrade him. He was gonna sit on the sideline anyways. Here we go. Now, he got upgraded. Perfect. Okay, so now we're just slightly behind on that one, though. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is upgrade the archer. So you do double shots. And then upgrade the wall so everyone gets more damage and health. There. Otherwise, that's 50, right? Yeah. OK. 
Come on. Please deliver the wood as quickly as you can, guys. Everybody deliver wood. Just, I need three wood, not planks. Oh my god. Three wood, not planks. Two more pieces of wood. God damn it. Why did you deliver the planks? I guess I didn't have enough, right? Yeah, I probably should have turned this off. I needed two, right, to upgrade this. Are you almost done? No, two more. Two more. Oh shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, Halfling healed up pretty quick there. Then again he's got he had low health to begin with. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, so the swordsman got caught up, basically. So it didn't matter whether I got him at turn two or not. Because he's the same as the monk right now. So, okay, so next time, yeah, for sure we want to keep ha keep the turn three, four, right? Turn four. Reroll, 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 reroll. Oh, there we go. <laughs> nice. Two coins. Alright, let's buy this. So now we got that guy upgraded. And if only that was closer, we probably would have gotten all the stones we needed. One more, two more still. Come on. Alright, so I need to get the gold mine running. So I can get the upgrades going. Or getting the siege, right? The siege engine later. Oh, come on! There we go. Now we can get this going here. Uh, extra armor, right? Extra armor. Oh shit! Oh bullshit! Halfling died. I think I should probably put the halfling in the middle next time. Damn it. That stinks. Shaman, right? Yeah, I'll take the shaman, actually. Okay. All right, we should be able to provoke this guy. With your, the, yeah, 
We should be able to provoke him. And then this guy, Shaman. He's at level 2, right? Yep, okay. Alright, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Now he just needs to summon his deer. There you go. And then everybody should be attacking that dude. And I need to get the hunter, right? Shit, I forgot to do the hunter first. Oh, forgot to do the hunter. Got to get that meat stocked up. Come on. The deer died. Is this guy specifically adjacent units, right? To adjacent units. For some reason, he was healing also the catapult, but the catapult wasn't adjacent to him. I don't know what that was all about. There was an animation for healing the catapult for some reason. Or sorry, the ballista. Can't do it. Come on. Should be fine, right? Yep, we should be fine. Damn it, I should have gotten the meat sooner because then they level up faster. Yep, I think I'm behind on the level ups. This is the... It's like in here. Yeah, this is the um, Goblin Day, right? This is the Goblin Day. Yeah, it's the Goblin Day. All right, so 100% damage against taunt items. Yeah, let's do that. And then I guess I will do another worker. We'll do the siege camp. That's fine. And then you've got enough gold, right? Let's go down. Well, I still need more, right? Cancel. Because I need the stone pit, and then I need five for the... For the ballista. Or the catapult. No fish. Terrible. Stones, yeah, stones helps. Come on. Let's 
I need to put up the wall. Yeah, I need to put up the wall. Uh, eight, yeah, five, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, faith, right? Hang on. How much do I have for faith? 150. I need 150. Boost? No, it's 150. It's fine. I'm going to wait for the 150. And getting more shields might be better. Yeah, I don't think the deer has... The deer taunts, but it doesn't have armor. Oh shit. Oh shit, the deer's down. Oh shit. Oh, we got it, we got it, we got it. Oh yeah, we got it. Woof. We got it. One person. Swordsman's got the finish. Everyone's level three. Spooky? Hey, Ramadu. Welcome back. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, she's got nothing for us to buy. Everyone's upgraded. Oh, what's this? Provoke monster to attack tonight. Not year nine. I don't know. Yeah, let's provoke him. We should be able to upgrade the walls, right? Yep. All right. More damage. Do I get another worker or do I get more damage? Worker or damage? I guess I should go for damage. Just in case. More damage means more workers. If I do more damage, I clear all the stuff, right? Because we're provoking monsters tonight, so I want to be able to get that out of the way. That's my worry right now. Oh, that deer. <laughs> oh, I think we got the provoked mobs. Oh, yeah, we got we got it. Oh, we got it. Nice. Nice. Everyone's alive. Beautiful. No one's dead. Got it. Beautiful. More glory. That is more glory. Now I just need. Hang on, I probably don't need this right now. Now I just need to get the siege engine, right? Or the ballista, ballista. Ballista. Come on. Where are you? Where are you? Come on. Where are you? Three, four. Extra meat.
I don't think that I, I think there's only one today, right? I think the sign says she's not it's not available. Yeah, sign says it's not available. We're not getting food upgrades, are we? No. Okay, oh yeah, 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 I can get the ballista now. Nice. Oh no, that deer might not make it. You know, extra damage to taunt probably saved us this run. Because that deer kept taunting stuff. So I think overall that really did save us. I'm going to upgrade this dude. Is there anything else? No, nothing else, right? I just need to upgrade more workers. Two, right? Alright, so I need two more gold mines to get a second ballista. I don't think I'm going to be able to get another worker anytime soon. in here. Tavern's fine, right? Yeah. That deer's not gonna make it. Can I move this? I can't move the ballista. Oh shit, the deer's down. Oh, the, sheer the deer's back. Alright, so I need to get this delivered. I need to get one more unit on that. That miner is awful. Can't get that ballista today, can I? Nope. That second ballista is not happening tonight. Shit. That miner is awful. No, I don't have enough, right? Oh, no, don't have enough. Oh, I do have... Oh, no, I already got the reward. I already got the reward. Damn it. I don't think we're going to make it. The deer's going down. The shaman might go down. Oh, fuck. Not as bad, I guess. It's only I should have probably moved the shaman in the middle. Damn it. Oh, we might actually have extra meat. Oh, we don't have extra meat. Damn it. All right, let's provoke this guy tonight. I think it's raining, right? Yeah, it's raining. We should be able to attack him. Somebody want to deliver? Oh, yeah, hang on. Let me upgrade the monk. Boom, boom, boom. All right, we should be able to get the second ballista right away. If 
only they delivered the gold first. I'm trying to get the gold to deliver first. This is where the priority thing really would be nice. Finally. Do I do the ballistas first or do I do the catapult? Oh, I don't have I don't think I can get the catapult. I guess I'll do the ballista. Alright, we got two ballistas now, guys. We're getting somewhere. Definitely getting somewhere. Hmm. Portal gets me another unit, right? Portal gets me another free unit. Again here. That is more gold, right? That's more gold. Wait. I thought there was a spot on the wall. Oh, I have to upgrade the gate. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Upgrade the gate. Or I get another appeal. How do I get another appeal here? I can't. So I can't add another another fighter on the on the battlefield. I have no space. So even if I got the even if I got the portal, I get a free unit, but I have no space. I don't know if I'm going to make it this time. But if I move that, will I lose? I don't know if I'm going to lose the, the deer. Oh, I can't move it. Oh, I can't move it. I can, but I will lose the deer, right? I think I lose the deer. Yeah, I'd lose the deer. Shit. Okay, the deer's back. Okay, here we go. The second ballista has been clutched. Oh, has it? Nice. <laughs> it's doing really good right now. With that taunt. That second ballista is really, really helping out. Oh my god. Oh, we made it. <laughs> We made, hang on, hang on. We, we should have done, uh, let's see here. Hero upgrade, right? Because we can't do the other one, 750. All right, what do we want here? Attacks even faster. Immune to poison. I think the re-X for all units is better, honestly. All right, so what am I going to do with the spot that I have here? Do I want the graveyard because it might be okay, but or I get or I upgrade my wall for a second ballista. Because I can't get it. Okay, even if I got another free unit for five, I don't have space on the battlefield. That's the problem. I don't have space on my battlefield. So I either get. So I need to get three stones, which is not going to happen right now. I get three stones. 
How did you get the ballista? Oh, I I uh I bought the ballista off of this. Or I don't know. Let's see here. Getting ten planks is not going to be easy. I think I'm more likely to probably upgrade my wall, get another unit to go right here and attack, right, and then spend spend my my gold. Which I need three more gold. Yeah, I don't I think I can only get one one um meat a day. So what I need is two pieces of stones delivered ASAP. And then I need to get three of this ASAP delivered. Yeah. How do you unlock the miner? Have multiple geologists? No, I, I just dropped down the miner. I just dropped down the miner. Oh shit, I might not have enough gold. We'll see. One, right? I need two more. As in unit unlock, not the mine. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, five. It, it requires five. I should have enough gold bar or gold spots on the map. I should theoretically see if I can beat this level. The next level is a boss fight, which is not going to be too hard. I just need another unit. Yeah, I just need another unit. Alright, so wall upgrade. And then now I need geologists, right? Yeah, I just need the geologist. So I can get that free unit added to the board. Hang on. Oh yeah, I can't move it yet until I get... Oh no, I should be able to move it, right? There we go. I now have another spot right there. There we go. Oh, there we go. Portal. Free portal. Where's my free unit? Who do I want? Ah, half man, half goat, full throttle. The other guy is a tank, right? The dinosaur is supposed to be a tank roll. This, the satyr is good? You think this guy's good? Versus the de degen. You think this guy's good? Alright, I'll take this guy, since you say so. I'll throw him on there. That is it now. Hopefully we win! Get the goat man? Alright, we got the goat man. I don't think there's anything else I can do on this board. At this point. Catapult, right? All right, hopefully I can beat this curse today. Oh my god, that catapult, so good. <laughs> oh, please stay alive. Stay alive. Oh shit, the gold man. Stay alive, stay alive. 
I just need to win this night. And then the next one is the the boss. Yes! I think we got it, guys. I think we got it. Just need to beat the boss. The day 14 boss, right? I don't think there's anything else I can do. The food doesn't matter today, actually. I mean, the only thing I could possibly do is pump out the planks. There's no reason to, to get the finish because this is the last night. So I need, I need, um, who does matter? Units, uh, attack less frequently if they're hungry. Well, I think they're only hungry for the, oh, I, you, you're saying is I need the food for right, for during the battle, you're saying. During the battle? Does it matter during the battle? Because this is the last night. So whatever, it, it, it's, it's game over. So you're saying is it does matter for the boss fight. Hi, Zazi, what's going on? You need the food, so tomorrow they'll fight at full strength against the spider. No, today is the spider. Day 14 is the spider. I'm pretty sure day 14 is the spider. It's not day 15. Right? I'm blind. It's day 14 now, right? So I don't need food. Hey, Z so yeah, Zazu is good. Great. Thank you for asking. So I, I'm, I'm correct, right? So all I need to do now is, yeah, you don't need food. Right. Okay. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. I don't need food. What I need to do is try to get this, right? The catapult. I don't need that. I don't need that, right? I think that doesn't do anything. I need... I need three... I need four more, right? I mean, this is the spider boss. I don't think I can get the... the catapult in time. There's no way that's happening. Pretty sure there's no way I'm getting the catapult in time. I'd be surprised. Yeah, I can't get the catapult in time. I think I won, though. I'm pretty sure I won. Oh, I'm pretty sure I won. Oh, yeah, baby. Bam! I won! Piercing? Yeah, sure. Piercing. Sure, whatever. Hell yeah. I beat the boss. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't need any of this. I'll, I mean, I'm, I'm going to set it anyways. Who cares? Whatever. Buy orbs? I can't buy orbs, can I? No, see, I'm, I'm short. 375. I've already got my, my orbs. I can't buy anymore. 375. Unless this guy collects it faster. Nope. Yeah, I don't have enough faith. Don't have enough faith. I think this is it. Yep. Well, at least we beat the curse. That's all I wanted to do. Faith is important, I think. Yeah, but I can't I can't spend the faith. But I'm a noob, yeah. Well But you are a noob. I already I already beat this, so it's good, right? Tomorrow we'll try to do We'll try to do the uh the curse three. You unlocked a new curse. Beat it to get even more glory. Nice. Oh, I got 106 glory. Oh, why didn't I oh, oh. guys I should have Unlocked my glory. I had a hundred glory. Oh. Oh. 
You said buy orb. I already had the. Oh, I should have gotten the. Glo oh. <laughs> expand town. Oh, I forgot to expand town. You fool. Yes, I was a fool. Oh. I should have expanded the town. Shit. Shit. Well, did I have stones? Did I have the stones, though? I messed up on that one, guys. Totally messed up. I should have gotten the... I should have upgraded my... My town slot for this next run. Oh, that was so bad, guys. I got the glory, but I didn't get the upgrade. F me. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I, I misread chat because I miss I read the part where it says buy orbs, but right above that you wrote expand town. Yeah, right above that you wrote expand town. I should have read the message above that. Oh. Fail. Big fail. That was a huge fail. All right, next time I'm going to upgrade my town. I got the glory. All right, so I'm going to conclude this run, and then I want to do a um, a different game. Uh, the The publisher Hooded Horse gave me early access to uh, the Pharaoh of the Niles DLC for Old World. I, th I believe it's called Pharaoh of the Niles. Um, let me make sure here. But yeah, I I need to switch over to that. All right, so let me put up my cat message here. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe if you're watching this on, watching this on YouTube. And I'm going to switch out to old world. So be right back. <laughs> 